Imagine 200 people organized and spending all their time finding ways to work together and get this water out to as many people as possible. How do we lead beside God's water? How do we help restore souls? How do we lead them in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake? Even the child that was shot and fell in our lawn this week, his family and the family of the two with the guns and the girl that was out of control at the school, all at the same time, we are called to care for all who come into our yard or touch us in any way, shape, or form. In his fold, here in this flock of the church, we have to take good care of one another as well and not stray the fold ourselves. We have to treat each other with respect and goodness, which we do, with peace and mercy. It's up to us to take up for and help one another, and as the scriptures say, to edify one another, to build up one another. If someone starts to wander, it's up to us to lovingly pull them back in. If someone misses two Sundays, we can get on the phone. If someone's sick, we can go to our stove or go to the drive-thru because Chick-fil-A has really, really good chicken soup. <laughs> if someone is struggling, we can get on our knees with them. People call. Somebody called the church office the other day. And said, she's like, I don't know why I called this number. I said, well, do you need prayer? Is this a church? Yes, ma'am, it's a church. Do you need prayer? Yes, ma'am, my, my granddaughter's driving me crazy. She's just run off with this man, and she's got to took my money. And, and it, so we just stopped, and we had prayer. That's what happens when the phone rings. If in the fall we function according to the Bible, we have fellowship, we have organization, we have communion, we have prayer partners, we have brotherly and sisterly love, and we do have to guard that, but not from the outside as much as from the internal competitions and growing pains that we can experience as a church. That's a normal thing. God loves most those who we have trouble loving in our own fold. We just have to see that of God in them. If God does, we have to as well, even when they get difficult, and that includes me. If you're called to be a mouthpiece, you're encouraged to be a good one. <laughs> if your sister is called to be a mouthpiece, let her speak and encourage her. Y'all you know in Acts where, um, what is it, Apollos came in? He's a little misdirected. And then they took him and just nurtured him and headed him in the right direction. And look at what he did. Paul came back and said, look what Apollos has done while I was gone. All it took was just a little redirection with some love. If we're a prayer warrior, let it rain prayers for all that solidify. And get hooked up with everybody. I mean, most of you here are deacons. But I would love it if everybody knew who their deacon was and their deacon knew. I, my goodness, did you hear the song this Sunday morning that said Brother Thomas was singing? Oh, my goodness. I never want to see that man out sure again. <laughs> when we have a talent to use it for the Lord, it's phenomenal. And as within the fold, we can just nurture one another and say, Hey, I heard you sing. That was great. I complimented you. Oh, that's great. And that's an encouraging thing. And, and, you know, edifying one another is important. As the body of Christ, we can be the ones who in the flock make the way for those who need to come back to the fold as well. And we can do it with forgiveness and grace. It never feels good to come back into a church you've left. It really doesn't. Y'all know how hard that is. Come on now. I know how this is. I go back to my daddy's church up in, in, in Chilton County, and it's like, hmm. They remember stuff about me I had forgotten about. <laughs> I'm serious. They were like, oh, we remember when you did so-and-so. And I'm like, I had already forgiven myself for that. <laughs> now i got to go back through it again. So we've got to nurture one another back in. <laughs> But when we become the body of Christ in the way in which we're called to be, heaven's going to rain down blessings. Heaven's already raining down blessings. 
Look at these new people that are coming into our part. Aren't they blessings? Oh my goodness. I can't keep up with them in the office. Boy, they got me over organized in there. <laughs> but imagine not struggling financially because we're on our way. Mm -hmm. Imagine not wondering who's going to serve in this capacity or that because we are on our way. Imagine the goodness of being in a flock that is spirit filled and anointed because we're on our way. Did y'all feel that spirit Sunday morning? Mm -hmm. You can feel the Lord moving in those pews. We're on our way. We're on our way to being the way to the well that is right here on the corner of Edgemont and Court. Or wherever we are, we're on our way. We're right here being the place that can satisfy Southwest Montgomery. It's a refreshing water and a good field where we graze. And God has supplied all of our needs now. The resources are here. So if you love him, feed his sheep. Feed his sheep. Feed his sheep.